hello everybody i'm coming to you from my local park nice huge field in the distance you probably can't see on the gopro but uh, we've got the cathedral in the background there which features in a few of my videos why am i here today well i'm testing out a new pair of shoes to cut a long story short i was gifted a voucher for a local sports shop this sports shop had a very very limited range of running items it was mainly for sort of tennis and swimming and things like that so i've got a voucher i said to the guy what do you do in terms of running what's available for me and of course on top of the fact there's a very limited range of running items it's also sizes that they didn't carry a huge amount of so i'll overlay in a moment the shoe and some images of the shoe itself but I've ended up getting a shoe in a size 10, which would be true to size in Brooks, which up until now I've used only um, Brooks models. Um, and like I say, unfortunately for me, uh, that is the only size that was available to me. The shoes were free, didn't cost me anything because they were reduced. So I've got a free pair of shoes. I think based on what other people have said, when you purchase a pair of Salomons, you should go half a size bigger. Now I'm here today to test that out. I've got nice soft ground. I'm very aware this is not a trail based run to give it a full test. But also what I wanted to do was not run too far in them and make sure they were comfortable. I didn't want to find myself out on a 10 mile trek and then realize actually these are pretty uncomfortable. So I've got shoes that are true to size. I think they look glorious. I love the colourway. So we've got pretty firm ground as it turns out. Uh, even walking in them, I feel slightly more elevated than I do in my uh, typical shoes that I wear, even the trail shoes that I've got. I guess a more of a transition shoe, which I did mention before when I first got them. This feels like actually we've got some proper lugs on them and they are meant to do a job. So just the way my feet feel at the moment walking around, left foot feels absolutely fine, very, very snug fit, certainly down left and right side. My shoe fit of my shoe, my foot feels like it's held in place perfectly. My right foot feels okay apart from at the end where I feel like there's a pressure which is pushing down from above onto my big toe next toe along so in terms of the width of the, the toe box that feels fine but there just seems to be this pressure that's coming down on the shoe on my foot rather so I'm not entirely sure what that is anyway let's dive into a little run and see how we get on Okay, just completed my first kilometre. Definitely a harder ride straight out of the box than what I'm used to. This is my first pair of Salomon shoes, so I guess if you ran in different models, you'd probably be more comfortable with the way these feel out of the box. They do seem to be a little bit of a hard material. Doesn't feel as cushioned underfoot and uh, doesn't feel as comfortable as kind of a wrap around the toes. So they're my initial thoughts on that. I'm gonna do a few more kilometers and see if that starts to kind of break in slightly more, mold its way around my feet or whether we're left with just a bit of a hard ride. Also double knot your shoelaces because they seem to be quite slippery and uh, have come undone with just a single uh, loop of this course here. So double knot is needed. Okay, just done a couple of kilometres there. I definitely felt the ability to push the pace. Uh, with relative ease, actually, I was able to go from like a 521 per kilometre down to 450. Didn't really feel like I was actually putting too much more effort in, to be honest with you. Felt quite easy, quite relaxed. Uh, my feet do feel warm. It's a hot day today, it's about 26 degrees. I'm wearing some thin Salomon socks. So I don't feel comfortable that I'd be able to wear a pair of thick socks with these shoes. I think the sizing for me would be too tight. My feet feel okay. Obviously at the back of your mind, the moment you start thinking about the fact that it's a little bit compressed on the right foot, you do start channeling your thoughts towards how your right foot in particular starts to feel and those toes, but actually it seems to have kind of calmed down slightly. So that's good.
Okay, so in summary, the first thing I would say is this is not a road shoe. Even walking the road, it's quite apparent that the shoe is not built for that purpose. It may be that you're doing a short run to get to your trail, but I would say that primarily you're looking at this being solely used for the trails itself. Uh, now for me, I could have done with a half a size bigger on my right uh, foot in particular. And um, yeah, we'll just see how things progress. Uh, over even the short time that I was wearing them, they did begin to feel more comfortable. But if we bear in mind that if I was going to be running at different times of the year, I don't know if I feel too comfortable wearing a thin pair of socks on the hot day when my feet are likely to expand when there's perhaps not so much room in the shoe. Equally, it could be that in colder months, um, there's more of an opportunity for me to wear a thicker sock. Uh, whether or not that'll be hindered by the shoe size, um, I'm yet to find out. I would say take a look at this shoe if you can find it, because that's the other thing. Trying to find any info on this was quite tough, as I mentioned earlier. But I assume it's part of the Sense range, which also brought Sense Ride and all of those things. Uh, so if you're familiar with those, I'm sure you'll get an idea about what the shoe's like. Anyway, I thought I'd just throw this together uh, in case anybody did what I did and typed in um, Salomon sent escape review and kind of fell themselves at a bit of a loss as to what this shoe was all about. Mm -hmm.